Hi guys, welcome back to All About the Canon XA40 on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is a, a YouTube channel about uh, the Canon XA40 Pro Camcorder specifically, although I do hope that some of the info here is going to be uh, useful and relevant to other uh, camcorders in Canon's excellent XA camera series, the 50, 55, um, as well as the newer XA models which came out a, uh, a few years ago. Now what I want to do for this video is quickly give folks a sample of what the internal um, microphone audio pickup sounds like. Now I'm not using it yet, what I'm currently recording with is a um, XLR shotgun microphone just positioned on top of the camera. This is the one I always use, the Audio-Technica AT875R. It's about 100 and $50 on retail. So it's kind of a cheaper, but I think still a pretty decent um, on-camera shotgun microphone. If you want to test uh, how your pickup sounds with the internal microphone with your voice, it's pretty easy to do. Firstly, uh, put on some monitoring headphones just so you can be sure of exactly what the camera is picking up. And then all you should need to do is toggle the on-off switch on the XLR Pro Audio top handle component of the x 40 because when you turn off, the XLR audio, uh, you're going to revert to internal audio unless you've got a 3.5 mil microphone. So don't put in a 3.5 mil microphone and just turn off the XLR and we're gonna go over to internal audio. So I'm gonna do that now in three, two, and one. All right, so I just uh, turned off the XLR top handle and what you're listening to now is the pickup from the uh, built-in microphone on the XA40. Now, obviously the built-in microphone can have uh, some purpose. It can be used for scratch audio. If you don't have any other uh, microphone uh, with you, you can use this. And if you also go into the four channel recording mode, you can keep, you can record simultaneously the internal audio from the microphone as well as that from your XLR uh, microphone. So I'm gonna go back in three, two, one, just so you can hear the comparison with the shotgun mic and now even uh, we should be back to uh, the shotgun microphone. So you're just gonna find even with something like a shotgun microphone, which in these indoor recording circumstances, it would be better to use a either a lav mic or something like a dynamic mic or a podcasting mic, you should still be able to get better uh, tonality from this microphone and generally better audio quality. So really the internal microphone is just there either uh, for scratch audio or as a Backup, if you don't have any other microphone at your disposal, it's obviously better to get any audio than uh, no audio at all. But definitely I found uh, the few times, and just one quick FYI I would say, is I've added a sort of mental checklist whenever I'm recording now, check the on off switch on the top handle because in my experience, if you are putting your XA camcorder in something like a backpack, that switch can move itself. So just before you go recording and interview the camp you're redone, have a quick look at the settings on your uh, Pro Audio top handle. Just make sure that the on off switch is set to on, your, uh, your automatic or manual gain control is set as you want, and you've got your audio uh, set up. And of course, a very easy way to diagnose those issues is to bring a pair of headphones and monitor your audio just as you do for your video. Hope that's been uh, useful. If you wanna get more videos about the XA40, Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.